Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Allie. Today, I brought along two extreme amateurs. I'm actually a little worried about how it's going to go. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold on a second, miss. I think you are the one that received the invite, not us. Uh, no, I, I thought that I said I'm going to bring my boat out here and, <laughs> and I'm going to feature you guys on my drove. YouTube channel. My my little slaves. Yeah, that's, <laughs> if you want to fish with me, you have to do all the work. <laughs> wow, that's why we love you. No, everyone. Today we're here at Hicks Lake, um, just outside of Harrison, or in I guess in, you'd say it's in Harrison, yeah, Sasquatch BC. Provincial Park. We're really excited. Um, this is actually my first time out on a boat on Hicks. Uh, I used to teach the Learn to Fish program here. So all the fishing I've done is just from the shore. So I've never actually gone on a boat. Rod is expecting that we're gonna catch like 60 kokanee, he said 40 rainbow trout, Some cutthroat, cutthroat um, all about five pounds or so. so all about five pounds or so, so we're really excited. Very hopeful. High hopes. This is my first time fishing from a boat on a lake, so I'm very excited too. Rod, don't disappoint. Here we go. Rod, are you ready? You got Allie's boat ready? How did you afford this? Foot massage. No. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I said me or massage. him? Oh Apparently, you're a slave for today. <laughs> no. That's what Allie said. Oh, yeah? No, I'm actually very impressed with how efficient and quick it was to set up the boat. That was very fast. So we started the day late. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Kitty just couldn't Why get are we it together. Late? Well, we kind of late toast. Toast. Well, we kind of took our time, and last night we didn't go to bed until two in the morning. And you go here. Well, that's when you arrive on the island. That's right? not my excuse. At two o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at two. In the morning. I'm not sure why I was up so late. So, but we are at Hicks Lake today. Beautiful day, and we're gonna get some trout and kokanee. Hopefully. That's how. Awesome. Let's go. Rod, 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 rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was Allie's tap taps. Yeah. So are we counting like Nick? Yeah. One sec, I want to make That's sure right, this is undone. Or right. make sure That's this good. is done. It's a phrase about me. Is it? Yeah. It's not very big. That's a nice condition fish, though. Okay. First one. First one of the season. <laughs> this is actually my, no, I shouldn't say that. I caught a coal at Kako like the other day. This is my first trout of this year. Oops. Yeah, nice little guy. Um, pretty nice condition fish. The fangs are still very intact. They've all grown back since they were released um, last year. So off he goes. <laughs> That didn't take very long. We only no. fished for 10 minutes. So. That wasn't even 10 minutes. I don't even have my rod in it's yet. Time. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I have nothing. I missed one. This is a tiny one. Oh, it's coconut. Is it? Yeah. Here, I need to film. I should just be filming. No, no, the GoPro's getting it. Oh. Yeah, it's coconut. I need to film. I shouldn't just be filming. That's all right. <laughs> okay, reeling. Huh? Reeling. So we've been at it for an hour, three, uh, four chances. Five chances so far, but we're gonna make a move. See if it, fishing will improve. <laughs> so Allison had to stop for a bathroom break, and Rod and I both agreed that we should just take off. And I can't wait to see her reaction. I don't think she'll be too pleased when she finds that the boat is not there anymore. <laughs> oh gosh, I can see her on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no! hey! Did you see anything? Oh, why were you facing this way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not how you're supposed to leave, Rod. You're actually supposed to take off, not cruise around the island. I need to pee now. No, because then you'll leave without me. Oh, 
going. Keep going. Yeah. Rainbow? Actually, that's a decent size. Right? Grab, 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 the eye too. Oh my god. Our dry. See you later. Yay! Okay, so we've been at it for 40 minutes now. I can see my GoPro camera, and they'll be getting into lots of coconut fish. They're biting non stop on the bottom. Once we'll be getting to a few rainbow trout. So, this is a Fraser Valley rainbow trout that was putting the lake last year, and it's fairly fat. It's not a huge fish, but it's nice. So, something like that is pretty nice to get. Beauty. Oh, that water. It's 3.7 degrees warm. right now. It's cold, Ellie. She wants to go swimming. It's actually perfect temperature. You're crazy. I You're crazy. don't think that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Yeah. Well, lots of fish on the sounder still. So trying different things now, right? We're getting kind of bored. They're catching them all the time. And oh, there's one. So that is on a fireball. Fire, fire. Yeah, the the pink fireball. It was right away. It was you just drop it down. <laughs> that was instant. Yeah. Oh, did you lose it? No. Nope. Coconut. It's one yet. Look, Coconut. you don't lose your egg. So instead of having yeah. to rebate so often, you just leave it on. Yeah. And like I said, it actually looks like a yeah. a the, single egg. The texture of it looks really natural. Very right? squishy. Yeah. Right? Like it's, yeah, it's you easy see for it. So when a fish bite, they tend to hold on to it a little longer. Yeah, it's not hard, so they don't tend to let it go. Mm -hmm. So when I, well, the case, so the kokanee bites from the rainbows are a lot different, quite light. Their mouths are a lot smaller, softer. I don't know, they're harder, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. It's harder to hook them. Is it? No, but like they're, they're so, their faces are so small. So when I drop my bait down, a lot of the times they're just nibbling and mm -hmm. they're picking at it. And then eventually they get to the hook and they hook themselves. And like I was telling Ali earlier, only the tip of the rod barely moves like these rods are pretty sensitive so I can feel it down in my hand um, that's how I know it when to set but when reeling up um, the fish these they just come straight up to the top yeah Quite violent head shakes but very yeah. little yeah whereas um, rainbows tend to dive deeply I guess they right and so. when they've jumped like didn't you get one Ellie yeah okay, he was jumping behind me yeah the rainbows <laughs> like to jump the kokanee kind of they'll shoot up and then they'll splash on top but they won't yeah. actually mm -hmm. come out of the water yeah but these eggs my first question for Rod was, um, why are we using plastic, especially when we try to promote, promote not, you know, well, we try to promote- Being yeah, exactly. environmentally friendly. Yeah, exactly. We try yeah. to promote being environmentally friendly, and I'm thinking, why are we using these plastic eggs? But they're actually biodegradable. So yeah. that's nice. That's mm -hmm. something new. Yeah. 
Is that is that pretty modern? What'd I would you say? say so. Yeah, it's pretty progressive, right? I mean, that's a that's a new product just came out, and it works. It does. <laughs> it's very effective. Yeah, I was pretty surprised when I started using it last year. <laughs> it was working pretty well. Day. Small fish, but the company was pleasant to be around with, so yeah, good day overall. Right? First, kind of like this leg is kind of like a warm up for the season, usually, because the other leg is still frozen, and it's nice to come out for a day and just catching fish, regardless how big it is. So, you're the one that said that this is your episode, right, Allie? This was my, I will, I guess, my treat to them was to take them out to Hicks Lake and catch them, get them into a couple of fish. And we did, it was a pretty good day. It, the numbers, I could not believe how fast those fish were biting as soon as we moved spots. Yeah, it was it was pretty much the second we put our, our rods down, um, it was a fish on. Do you remember that though? At the beginning of our trip, we were contemplating on what we should use, if we should use the shrimp, cured shrimp or the bait. And so we, rods started with the shrimp, you and yeah. I were using eggs, and then when we moved to the second spot, at that point we were he all using rainbow. eggs. He got the rainbow on the shrimp. Well, it was we right away. It was right away, and we didn't get anything. So then we were trying to switch up, and then we moved to the second spot. Everything worked. Oh, it just panned out perfectly. <laughs> just like I planned. <laughs> just like <laughs> Allie planned. All right, so Rod is coming behind us, and it is time to load up the truck, get it all cleaned up, and head home for dinner. Rod, huh? what, what are you for cooking dinner? for dinner? Alfredo cream sauce pasta and grilled chicken and vegetables. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, until next time, good luck fishing. Oh, you have one too. I didn't even realize it. Oh, this one's not bad. Yeah. We're getting there. Oh, it's a kokanee. Kokanee. Oh, it's a kokanee. Double header. Wow, that was good. Now our lines are going to be so... Oh no, what did you guys do that for? Wait. <laughs> you guys no, going to spin? It's, it's actually fine. You guys no, going to spin not. like... Nope, nope, this one, this one came out. 